What's up? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer music from your iMac or MacBook to your Apple iPad Pro M4. Let's go. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio, and in this channel, I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Also, hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want an epic custom phone case like these for your phone, there's going to be a link down below in the description. And with that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so as you can see on this iPad, if we go over to the music app, we have no music here. If we go to library, Let's go over here, select home, library, playlist. Yeah, we have no playlists here. Uh, there is actually no music on this iPad whatsoever. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to transfer music that you have saved on your Mac to your iPad so that you can listen to it directly from your iPad without having to be connected to Wi-Fi or data. So once you have the music saved on the storage of your iPad, you'll be able to listen to music anywhere while being offline. So let's get started. All right, so one thing we are gonna need in order to do this is we're gonna need a cable to connect your iPad Pro to your uh, either iMac or MacBook. All right, so you're gonna have to have either the original cable or a high quality uh, USB-C cable to connect your iPad to the computer. Once you have that cable connected on the computer, connect it here on the iPad, and you should receive this message here on the screen of your Mac. So it says a software update is required to connect to Sergio's iPad. Here you can go ahead and hit install. All right, so it looks like uh, it's finished downloading. So here we're gonna hit trust on the iPad. You're gonna have to enter your pin. All right, so once that uh, software update for your Mac is done downloading, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up the Finder on your Mac. Okay, so just the uh, Finder um, where it shows all of the uh, different folders here. So right here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see towards the bottom, it's gonna say iPad. Your iPad should show up there. Uh, uh, you're gonna select trust here on the computer. Okay, so here it's gonna ask you if you wanna restore from a backup or if you wanna just set it up as a new device. So I'm gonna set it up as a new device and hit continue. And there we go, here we have uh, the iPad. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here to uh, music. Okay, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna read uh, all of the music on your computer. It's going to automatically read it. Okay, here in music, we're going to select sync music onto, onto the, your iPad. And you can either uh, sync the entire music library that's on your computer, on your music here. Let me open up music. All right, so as you can see, here is all of the music uh, that I have on this computer. Uh, if you open up the music app here, it should read all your songs. Um, so this is what we're going to be syncing onto the iPad because it automatically reads the music from the music app that's downloaded. So I'm just going to select entire music library. You can, you know, select uh, you know specific artists or by genre or albums or playlists okay but I'm just gonna do entire music library it's much easier and then once you're ready uh, just hit apply okay give it a you know, few seconds maybe a couple minutes depending on how many songs you have and let it transfer over to the iPad all right, so there you go. Uh, it looks like it finished syncing everything to the iPad so now uh, you can go ahead and disconnect the iPad from the computer and then here in the iPad, uh, we're going to go ahead and just make sure that all the music is on here. Okay, so over here on the left hand column, we can see library. Now we have a bunch of things that just automatically added onto here that weren't here before. So we can go to songs here and check that out. Uh, we have a bunch of music on here now that we can listen to. Play a song. There you go. Oh, ha, sicker than your average. All right, everyone, so there you go. That is how you transfer music from your Mac to your Apple iPad Pro M4. Go ahead and nuke that like button if this video helped you out. Comment down below and let me know. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, peace.